Hello and welcome to another devlog of making 3D version of Pong with features like weapons and power-ups. In the last video we've set up some basics like movement and collisions, plus we created our first map. In this episode we are going to add new weapon and do some general improvements. As I mentioned, today we are going to add first weapon to the game. Rocket. Idea is to spawn missile object, shoot it, missile will hit the opponent and he will be paralyzed for a couple of seconds, hopefully. In first, I started to think about how the rocket launcher should look like and I thought that I could use model of the actual rocket launcher, but honestly, actual rocket launcher just didn't fit. For now, I used capsule model as a placeholder for the missile and went for implementing the logic. That means I had to dive into editor and put some really complex code together. Of course, it worked perfectly on the first try. While half of my brain was thinking what I did wrong, I decided to add some ball reset effect when a player scored a goal. For that, I wanted to add similar effect as in Rocket League. The ball should explode and broke into small fragments, which then will be reassembled together in the center of the field. Explosion was pretty easy to do, but then the difficulties appeared. Reassembling was harder than I thought, and I was quickly losing my patience. When I thought that I'm done, it was not true. But after a few hours of swearing, I managed to get this result. Ok, let's get back to our rocket weapon. I made some serious progress here and I had done basically whole logic of this weapon. Now I was able to shoot projectile, which was paralyzing the opponent. To take a break from coding, I've opened Blender and I started to work on model for the rocket. Then I was trying to find the right position for it, so that it would look like player is actually holding the missile. Also I was able to shoot something would looked more like a rocket now. Well it looks boring without any effect, so I added this explosion to the rocket when it hit some object. You may have noticed that in comparison to the real rocket, there is still one thing missing. The smoke effect. So I've made smoke and dust particles to follow our rocket and this is how it looks like. The ground begins to tremble. Three. Massive engines roar to life. Two. Billowing clouds of exhaust. One. And in a blinding pillar of fire, Liftoff! We have a liftoff! A mighty voyager leaves the Earth behind to explore the vast universe among the stars. Of course it is not perfect so far, but the details are going to be fixed by my future self. The rocket was attached to the player, but for now it was just floating in the air. So I made this very simple holder and put the missile into it. I've also fixed the smoke effect and added the releasing of the rocket. Next I went to do some modeling again. I needed some crosshair for player so that he can see where his shot will fly. I've also decided to add some line indicating the trajectory of the shot. I've noticed that this line is not perfectly accurate. So I did some adjustment to that and also fixed the crosshair. I also added this small animation of loading the missile into the holder and the rocket weapon was done. Now it was time to add a way how players will get all these weapons and power-ups. Idea was that items are gonna be randomly spawned on playground and player needs to hit them with ball to be able to collect them. First I wanted every item to have unique model, but then I decided to use one general object which will then add random item into player's inventory. As a model for this object I will use wooden crate inspired by Crash Bandicoot. 
I was already tired of modeling, so I asked my brother to make this model for me. I also needed a second model broken down to pieces so that when the ball will hit the crate, it will spawn this broken object. Next I connected the weapon item with the crate object and built on the whole logic of collecting. I also gave lifetime to crates, so after a few seconds they are going to disappear. After that, it was time to solve this issue of clipping ball into battle. I jumped into my testing playground and started to look for a solution. I made a lot of test cases, but I couldn't find a way how to solve that. In the end, all I had to do was increase the mass of the player's object. In future, there will be a lot of items, so I wanted for players to have some kind of inventory where they can store maximum of 3 items and use them in some combos for example. So I implemented simple holders, made an image of a rocket and added it to game. I also added decent animation to the shot power bar. During test, I realized that making rocket missile react to collisions with every object would be more fun. After putting some code together, I was able to easily destroy the crates on the playground. I think this feature can be very useful and players will be able to include it in their tactic. Now what do you think it will happen when the rocket will hit the ball? Explosion of the ball? Nothing? The ball changes direction? Or a lot of hair dryers will fall from the sky? Okay, so we chose option D. And it's absolutely correct. <laughs> Unfortunately not. It will just change both direction. But I still think it's a cool feature. Okay, so this is all from today's episode. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Also don't forget to watch previous episode and subscribe for more. See you soon!